Here is an update about the St Columns Church Partnership in the Northern Territory. Three years ago, Aboriginal church leaders came to Melbourne and the Northern Territory Bishop invited us all to be mission partners there. Janice and Greg made a brief trip and met Estelle at Gelui, who wants to make their community a place of Christian hospitality and refuge. After some planning, we met again in Catherine and agreed St Columns would come back and do some work on a building. Five St Collins folk camped at Gelly, did some work, went for a walk, and left the building clean and more open to the breeze for keeping cool. Shortly after this, Mandy and Jojo were in Melbourne, so they came to worship with us at St Collins. What a God-given opportunity that was. We promised we'd come back, and so with no plans for building, Naomi, Greg, Janice and Mike met the Gelly mob in Catherine and at Gelly. We walked, talked, worshipped and studied the Bible together, not just in Gelee, but also in Darwin. The next trip in October last year, Naomi, Greg, Janice, Luena and Paul were ready with tools and supplies to make steps and paint a wall. It was 40 degrees each day, so we needed more rest and set up camp in the building for shade. Janice had some artwork ideas with us to look at and see what kind of design might be good to go on a t-shirt. Talking and painting was a good way to find out what Gelly Mob would like to see us in. T-shirts are a quick and easy way to pick out which white fellas are from St Columns Mob. We did things slowly in the heat. Work on the steps happened between 6am until 10 before breakfast. Painting the inside wall was in the shade, but still hot. In Gelly, each time we are there, we are taken on a walk to the Billabong. This is a blessing of country for water and food, and is important to the people who have lived here for many, many, many years. While walking country, we hear the stories that are important. We learn more about people, their culture and history by listening to their stories than by asking lots of questions. As we walk country, we learn about traditional food and the places where this family lived while the cattle station was operating here. We made concrete steps which take people into the building, and we made concrete steps in our partnership as we travelled together to the fishing spot on the Roper River, spending time listening and waiting, trusting our hosts who are welcoming us into their country. This is a real sign of the reconciliation that we have from God with him through Jesus, and now with one another the sisters and brothers in Christ at Gilly. As we said farewell, we were given gifts of paintings. We learn more from these moments than any book or website can tell us. We left behind a painted wall, but brought home with us a deeper sense of partnership with Gilly Mob and also with the Diocese Mob. Kate Beer, Richard Hart and Greg Anderson have done so much to welcome and teach us so that we can be good partners. They encourage us and we encourage them because we keep coming back to a remote and challenging diocese. Soon another group of St Columns mob will go. Anna and Christina have been working hard in their cross-cultural preparation to join Naomi, Greg and Janice at Catherine Christian Convention. This convention brings together people from all over Northern Territory Diocese and we will meet Gowie mob there. Please pray for our time as we meet up with our friends. We want to find out if we can go to Gelly again in August this year, so that maybe we do some more building, or maybe we do some Bible study. Pray for the followers of Jesus in Gelly and in St Columns to grow strong in faith and in their passion to reach out to our local communities with the good news of Jesus. There is no other way for all of creation to be saved, freed, healed or forgiven except through faith in Jesus.